Makeup is an integral part of teenage girls' day-to-day -day life. With the hypervisual nature of today's world, girls are concerned more and more and more and more than ever about their appearance. We are here today with fashion model and style expert Joanna House. She's given us some guidelines for these young ladies. Welcome, Joanna. Thank you, Nick. This is very important. I have mm -hmm. my daughter is seven years old, but yes. she's already getting involved with makeup, and it makes her feel, you know, yeah. girly and feminine, and mm -hmm. you know, she can look like a princess and all that good stuff. Yeah. But we want to keep it. Yeah, kind of toned exactly. down. So what are some general, let's just start with some general things for well, young Well, first ladies. off, I'm not trying to promote makeup. If you're a mom and dad and you don't want your daughter wearing it, that's, you know, we are yeah. here to help you kind of teach the girls at home, you know, maybe at school right now, hey, I learned some tricks and that's what we want to talk about today. And if want to do it, this is a good way to do it. Absolutely. So most teenage girls are really aware of their appearance, as you know now, especially with all of the girls that are bombarded with the great shows that are on television and mm -hmm. magazines. So they kind of want to look like they're starlets. They sure. want to be them. And you know, it's okay, but there's some rules to help the moms kind of guide them. And one of them is, let's go over this, don't overdo it. Tell your daughters, your nieces, don't overdo it. Keep the makeup light for school. You really shouldn't be wearing hardly anything for school. Mix and match to find a good look and blend, blend, blend and check it check it you know especially for parties if you want to do something bright and fun and glittery that's okay that's a great time to kind of inject that sort of glitter dazzle into an event party a and dance. then they want to check it in in a bright light right yes. just to make sure Outside. that it's not over because it's in your dark room it looks good uh, and you get outside and it's not especially so if the girls are getting ready for school early in the morning in the dark light that and then they go out and it's just too much so very you've got cool. to be very careful well this is cool because you got some pictures of certain uh -huh. celebrities which yes. our girls are trying to look like yes. teenage girls and then some products that come Side with what they're doing. So let's take a look at yes. some of those and walk us through. So big girl is Kyle Jenner, who's really popular. Sometimes she dresses, I think, a little too sexy for her age, but I think her makeup yep. right here for the event, and mind you, she's an older teen, is spot on. She's really into liquid metallics, and that is huge for girls, okay? So if you're thinking about liquid metallic, you're going to think about an eyeliner. And what's great is if your girl is probably in a, you know, low teens, 13, 14, 15, you just need a little accent. It's not about covering the whole eye, but as you can see, fun colors like purple and teal, if you're going to a Jaguar game, if you're going to a dance, I mean, just little fun accent corner of the eye. It also will make their eye color pop even more. Okay. Okay. And the next um, also, too, is the gel liner, which is great. You can also smudge that in. You were talking about your daughter saying she's seven. I don't want her wearing a liner. Right. Well, if you look at something like this, literally, if you were to blend it in, all it really is is just a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of glitter. It's not it's a not big deal. It's not leaving silver. It's, it's just not. And, you know, Marc Jacob makes really cool stuff. And a lot of these companies are now thinking, when they're shopping with their mothers, what can we do? What can we give the girls that are coming along with them? Okay. And then I think we have a picture of Jordan Sparks. Yes, Jordan Next. Sparks. Okay, matte makeup. So keeping it really clean, really fresh, monochromatic. You want to keep the colors the same. And a big, big rule for girls, no foundation, no concealers. You're a teenager. Be a teenager. Have fun. Maybe a little bit of BB cream, a little bit of a tinted moisturizer, if that. Mm -hmm. But girls should not really be covering their face. Not only does it clog the pores, but it ages them. If you look at the models on the runways in Fashion Week that are super, super young, their agents are saying to the designers, I don't want makeup on the girls because after six, seven, eight, nine, ten shows, the girls tend to break out and it just looks too too heavy and it makes them look too old. And I would say as long as they're not into it, no need to, to rush them into no. wearing makeup No, oh my God, if I could like not that. have to, to wear a concealer, it. I would be the happiest And that's person. the one thing too, is once the girls start putting it on, they're like, oh, I can't then go outside without the makeup. And they think more and more and more and it becomes, you know, a little bit of a, a struggle to get out of the house unless and you then, have a full face. Uh, we've got, now I, worked with, I worked with Blake Lively uh, on the stunning. film Savages. Stunning. And she, very beautiful. Very she beautiful. She doesn't need a lot of makeup. She doesn't use a lot of makeup. She just has accents of shimmer as you can see inside the corner of her eyes maybe a couple coats of mascara her natural lip color and that's really it so that's a great look for young girls especially them you know with the blonde hair and like to have a pearl iridescent shadow in the center is really really beautiful next I love 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 juicy juicy lips glossy lips these lip things you know they might look a little bold when you look inside of the colors when you're pulling them out but actually when you put them on they're super super sheer super sheen and it just makes ah! 
<laughs> it's like dominoes. That's so fun. It's all good. They're still It's there. a gloss domino effect. <laughs> but it really gives the girl just a pop, a hint of gloss. That's nice. And, and that picture that you showed is very nice. It's yeah. very subtle. And very, it's very subtle. And if you were to pull natural. these out, the juicy tubes and they come, they're amazing. So, all right. So then. Very cool. Are you ready What's, for the last one? Yes. Holiday time. It's so fun. Glitter, glitter nails. It's perfect because a lot of girls can't really afford to get the manicures, pedicures. The moms do not want them to kind of start accumulating an extra cost bringing their daughter. Sometimes they do for special times, but not every couple weeks. So what girls at home can do, and even women, is glitter is a perfect way to cover your nails. Um, what's great about this is if you have chippy nail polish, it still looks kind of fun and spunky. That's mm. great about glitter. And, um, you know, this is Jinsoon. I'm, you know, a lot of these lines, I mean, I picked this up because it was really highly concentrated for glitter, and I thought that would be so fun for girls. So, any quick final advice that you want to give any yes. moms that are watching or, or yes. girls that might be watching? If right your now? daughters have a great feature, whether it be bright blue eyes or a cute nose, tell them to play up that feature and just compliment them, build their self-esteem. So many girls have low self-esteem and really just telling them to play up that one feature and that's really all they need to do. Confidence builders. Confidence, Very yeah. Very cool. Thank you, Ioana, Thank for you. all the good advice and for the teen's makeup uh, advice that you had here. I'll take some of that home for, for my baby girl. If you'd like to sponsor our Beauty Buzz segment and have you want to feature your products or your business, just reach out to her on our Facebook page.